Welcome back, welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Will. Back with another episode of Life After Prison. There is life after prison, you know. Um, today I had an awesome day. I went out shopping with the wife. Uh, you know, you get to do all them things that you can't do in prison. You get to have all them, uh... You pick what you want, you know, at the supermarket. You get to choose different ice creams, things you don't get on canteen. You get in jail, you get a little sherbet, a little sherbet cup. One of them little ones, like a little, uh, you know, a little two-bite cup. You get a little sherbet cup every once in a while. Or you get a jello. or well, the best thing you have is the, uh, Ham steak. <clears throat> yeah, ask anybody about the ham steak. That ain't it. Well, we used to have a chow mein. Chow mein was one of the the favorites everybody would wait for, especially in the Fall River area. The uh, Bristol, County, Bristol County area. You know we're uh, home of the chow mein, right? So, um... Come Sundays, everybody waited for chow mein. I mean, people would rush back from visits to get their chow mein. You made sure you didn't miss your chow mein plate. If you did, there was trouble. You know, um, we come home from jail and you try to make the chow mein, and it just ain't the same, you know. You like it, you like it because you like chow mein, but... When you're in jail and uh, the things you get, um, it, it's it's not even, you don't even get oatmeal, you get like grits. I think they call them grits. It's like, uh, oh my God, it's like mush. <sighs> oh, it's horrible. I don't know how people eat it. But when you're in jail, especially when you're in a hole, when you're sitting in a hole, you tend to love things that you would never catch yourself eating. You know, when you got your uh, milk that's been sitting out all day and it's piss warm. Oh, it's like heaven, you know. Um, the hole is not a place to be. The only thing the hole is for is your mind, okay? If you're a person that needs to get away from the bullshit, the daily grind, if you like to be... So, so I'm one of them people now, um, give me my radio, uh, give me my, my pen and paper so I can, you know, write letters to my family, um, shit, if they gave us a cell phone, I said all my time in a hole, come out, take a piss, do some exercise, take a shower, go back in the hole, you know, um, of course, your, your toilets are in your cell, so you don't have to come out to take a piss unless you're in the, the um, the, the you know, the units of the low security when your doors are open. You know, I had the honor of being in um, low security one time when I first came in. Um, and let's just say that that didn't last long. I was there for one day. And I um, got into a fight with a GD, um, or he was a Crip, um, or he was a Blood, I don't know. Every day he was, uh, several times throughout the day, he was claiming a different set. Um, but I was there two, maybe three days, three days. Might have been two days, two days, three days tops I was there. And, um, you know, coming off the streets... Um, like I said, I was a drug dealer, so coming off the streets, you know, going in, you get a shell shock, and you have a couple of days when you start, uh, kicking drugs, and, uh, a friend of mine came in, and, um, at that point, I didn't care anymore, you know, about drugs, and, uh, I was done. Um, so I was just aggravated, you know, and, um, I had a good chunk of money, um, I had just bought in all my 
I'd got and I just made it when I got when I got arrested and I had gone in and went to court, they held me. I got back to uh once I got back to um Dartmouth they um they were doing canteen slips that day. And I knew I wasn't leaving anymore, so I had just made it back in time to write my canteen slip. So I had put on for my sweats and I had put on for my radio. Um, I had put on for my sneakers, my new sneakers, you know. Um, because when you walk in you get the old uh chucks, they call them bobos. But they're like the old uh Converse, Chuck Taylor Converse with the low top. Only they made um cheaper. And they call them bobos because um, you know, the next contestant on the price is right. Bob Baca had his hands in all of that private, privatized jail, uh, stuff. So he, um, you know, he paid, he had his name on the sneakers and, you know, um, we did get our t-shirts from, uh, Bob Baca and we also got them from a bunch of places, you know, um, never fruit of the loom. Uh, things like that. It was always, they were always, you know, like no name, uh, no name t shirts and stuff. You know, you wear them one time, put them in the wash, and they come out looking like a, a sheet. You know what I mean? They're all stretched out, and um, they come out brown looking like you had a cup of tea with them, like you dipped them in your tea, you know? Um, that was, that was how, it was, that's how you lived, you know, but. The sneakers were horrible, you know, and like I said, uh, I had just gotten back and I was uh, ready to make my canteen slip, and uh, I did it, I made it all out, I ordered some cards from, uh, you know, a local artist, um, I got some uh, souped up headphones from my radio when they all came, and the friend comes in um, after I've been there a day or two, no, I get the lay of land, I had watched everybody. You know, um, I had already had a one uh, incident with um, the kid over the phone, and I was fine, you know. And um, so my my buddy comes in, and he's sick, so I uh, I go to this uh, GD, we'll say for better sake of um identifying him because like I say to this day I don't know what he was. Nobody does. Um the GDs pulled his paperwork, the Crips pulled his paperwork. Everybody put a green light out on him because he was um he was trying to hide from them trying to hide from me f with them. He was trying to get them to protect him. Um but when they pulled his paperwork he was lying about a whole bunch of shit. So everybody put a green light out on him. Now I had, um, um, like I said, I'm pretty respectful in jail. I, and I, um, I get respect. Um, it's, it's just who I am. It's how I, uh, how I move. Um, the area I'm from, I got a big last name throughout the prison system. So, um, but needless to say, I go to this kid, and um, how it all the issue started is I go to the kid, and I say, hey, listen, my buddy just came in. He's sick. And the kid says, um, uh, I said, listen, you know, what, what can you get me for him? The kid says, oh, I got the best kind of heroin out there. You know, I got some Boston Fire heroin. And I said, oh, you know, I'm from uh, Fall River, south of Boston, and, uh, Shit, when we sell heroin, we got the guys from Boston coming down there to pick it up, you know. So that Boston heroin don't impress me, but I said to him anyways, listen, I'm going to let the kid try it. If he even gets off sick a little bit, um, I'll take it. I'll take it all. If he even gets off E just a little bit, I'll take it all. Um, I have my people send you money on the phone. You can order canteen, whatever you want. Guy says, bet. He's trying to play this game for us. No, he can't try it. Oh, it's tucked away. It's tucked away. Tucked away means he's got to put up his ass and he doesn't want to take it out. 
or I scared he's gonna get raided. So I tell him, well, if the kid can't try it, no deal. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, good, you know, things come to, he, he finally shows and he comes to my cell um, and he hands me a napkin and runs. This is the pill, I'll say, no, this is the dope, I'll see you later. I open up the napkin and it's a crushed sleeping pill. Oh, I was, I was, I flew off the handle. I flew off the handle. I went in a rage. I wanted to tear this kid apart. Of course, he runs, he runs to the, like I said, he runs to the Crips. He runs to the GDs. He's looking for protection, blah, blah, blah. Gets into big politics. They run paperwork. They want to check him because he starts throwing names. You know, I'm in the middle saying, listen, I don't give a fuck who, he's, who he is. A crip, but you, I ain't a gang member. I'll fight anybody. You know, we don't go that. We don't move like that. And you know, like I said, I'm one of them people. I don't give a fuck who you are. You know, let, let's get it in. You know what I'm saying? Um, and mind you, this is going back um seventy years ago. You know, when I was a little younger, I was a little more um quick, quick to act. I'll say, you know, um, if you know me from Florida, you know. You know, I was, I, I like to listen, hit, talk later. You know, that's how I was. Um, not a big troublemaker, but um, when the shit comes my way, let's just say it gets cleaned up. But um, I get this, okay, he's, there's a green light. Chow comes down. I don't go to Chow. I stay in the block. I say I'm not. I'm not going to chow. I tell all my boys I'm not going to block. Everybody go to block. You all. You all go to chow. You all go eat. I'm gonna stay here. I'm waiting. As soon as this guy comes in, um, I'm blasting him. That's it. So, um, chow goes. Everybody goes in. Chow goes in. Um. I see the kid run to his, uh, I see him come up the stairs, he runs to his cell. Me, I go, I beeline right to his cell. Pew, I go, I walk in the cell, the kid's, he, he, you know, he, he puts his hands up, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight, we're gonna fight at 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, I look at him, I say, what do you think, this is a fucking dance, do you think we got a date here? <laughs> what are you, fucking crazy? Right away, I fire on him, I blast him, I drop him. As I drop him, he's coming down. As he goes down, like, he just flips. He goes down, his head goes down, he hits the floor, his leg comes up. I will get him. When his leg came up, he he kicked me. He kicked me in, in the back. When he kicked me backwards, I hit my head on the back of a hook, a coat hook. We had metal coat hooks. They hang on the wall. Um. So I go over, I grab him, and I hit him again. Bam, bam. I hit him with a couple of two-pieces. Bam, bam. As I'm hitting him, he gets up. He runs out he, he, like he scrambles for the door. He gets out of the the cell, and he runs out on the tear. He starts screaming the cop's name, Raposa, Raposa. Raposa is the cop's name. They call a code. You know, I get out. I walk to my cell. He's standing at the desk. Stupid. You know, he's pointing us out. The kid runs down the tear. Um, Raposa cuffs him up. I sit in my cell. A couple minutes later, the, 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 the turtles come. If any of you have been in jail, you know what the turtles are. But the team come in, you know, they come to my door. The command start. Get on your knees, face the wall, hands on your head. You know, they got the pepper gun and blah, blah, blah. And I complied. You know, I wasn't in, um, I was in no predicament to start getting sprayed it was a fight it was a fight you know um i hit him the kid went down he scrambled for the door he left um through the melee i ended up um going to the hole like i said i was there for two or three days already and i had to go to the hole and uh the worst part about it was uh i didn't get my sneakers i didn't get my canteen and they get my sweat so i was fucking pissed <laughs> some of the things that you care about when you're in uh when you're in jail you know 
I had none of that shit in uh, my first 30 days I had, I had to go sit in a hole. Um, actually, it came out to 38 days because it was a holiday weekend when I seen them. So by the time I seen the D board, the disciplinary board, um, it was almost five days later. And then when they sanctioned me, they gave me the 30 days. Um, it turned out, it turned out about 35 or 36 days, something like that. I was sitting in a hole when, like I said, when you, you'll eat things that, um, you never thought you'd eat, you know, um, the food is horrible, sitting in the hole. You know, at least when you get canteen, you can go back to your cell and you can make yourself a mix. You know, you mix with a whole bunch of guys. Everybody throws in a little something, a beef stick, a soup, uh, some chips, um, you know, you name it. Some sauce, some some chili, beef stew, a little something. Everybody mixes and you make these, you know. I'll tell you what, some jail food is better than some homemade food. You can ask a lot of people. Um, to be in jail, the, uh, the, 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 ingenu the ingenuity in your brain when you're in jail, oh, it's second to none. You know, you got to live there. You got to learn to survive. And uh, I'll tell you, it's, uh, it's crazy the things you come up with. Um, yeah, that was my, uh, that was one of my instances walking into jail, uh, being fresh off the streets, a couple of days being sick, um, going right to the box for fighting. Um, there's a couple of stories, we'll get to them, but, um, yeah, let me know what you think. This guy's can comment, um, Share the video, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, you know, help out with the channel. If you know somebody, send them a video, pass the word. Um, let's get the channel rising. Big Will. Um, there is life after prison, you know. And uh, we'll get to it. Peace.